welcome to Sunday worship. You guys are in the right place at the right time. Thank you for being on time. You show that you love God and you respect God. Everybody did a great job. Thank you. Our Father God is worthy of our praise and worship. Let's say it out loud. God is good all the time. You guys are ready? God is good all the time. God is good. Amen. I have a few announcements. Number one, I need volunteers for scripture reading and prayer. If you would like to do it, please let me know. Number two, we have a small group every Sunday. Today, 11.20 via Zoom. Please join us. Number three, we provide weekly questions every week. You can download it from our website. If you have any questions, please let me know. Let's begin our time of worship together with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Before we praise the Lord, let's think about who He is by reading the scriptures, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for His name's sake. Amen. We have so many reasons to praise the Lord. He is our shepherd. He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. Through Him, we have salvation, hope, peace, and confidence. He is the only one who deserves our worship and praise. Let's all stand together and praise the Lord.
to your arms, I'm running to your arms, the riches of your love will always be enough, nothing compares to your embrace, light of the world forever
Dear God, thank you for keeping us safe from the coronavirus and letting us worship you every day. Forgive us when we turn away from you by disobeying you. Help us remember that you are in control during this pandemic and help us trust you. As we worship you today in spirit and truth, let us glorify you in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, John, for praying for us. Before we listen to today's The Bible Story, let's do a comparison game. I will show two items at the same time, and you will vote on which item you believe costs more. Box of cereal versus candy bar. Bag salad versus banana. Notebook versus printer paper. In each pair of items, one was worth more money than the other. Today, we'll see how Jesus is greater than anyone or anything. Because Jesus is better, we can trust Him. Open your Bible to Hebrews, book of Hebrews, chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. Today, our first grader, Daniel, read a scripture for us. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1, 2. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. He spoke to them many times and in many different ways. And now in these last days, God has spoke to us through his son. God has chosen his son to own all things. And he made the world through the son. Amen. The early church was made up of almost all Jewish believers who were persecuted for following Jesus. Because their lives had become difficult, many believers began to wonder if following Jesus was worth it. Some may have even thought about giving up on Jesus altogether. The Holy Spirit helped a Christian leader write words of encouragement to the early church in the book of Hebrews. He wrote, Long ago, God spoke to his people through prophets. Now he speaks through Jesus. Jesus is God the Son, and he is like God in every way. Jesus is better than angels because he is God's Son, the eternal King and creator of everything who sits at God's right hand. But Jesus humbled himself to become lower than the angels for a time when he became a man. Jesus became a person like us, to die and then rise again. Jesus' work rescues people from sin. All who believe in him become his brothers and sisters. Jesus became like us in every way so he could become a merciful and faithful high priest for us. Because Jesus suffered and was tempted, he is able to help us when we are tempted. This is why Jesus is the greatest. He is greater even than Moses, who was a faithful servant of God. Jesus was an even better servant. God used Moses to bring the law to his people, but God used Jesus to bring the gospel. This is why we cannot turn away from Jesus. Instead, we need to encourage one another each day so that we don't give in to sin. We don't want to be like the Israelites who Moses led out of Egypt and then rebelled against God and perished in the wilderness. The Israelites wanted a land of rest, but even Joshua could not provide rest for God's people. We want to enter into God's rest, and Jesus has provided something even better than land, spiritual rest in Him. Because Jesus is such a great high priest for us, we can hold fast to our faith. Jesus knows our weaknesses because he became a human and was tempted 
although he never sinned. Because of Jesus, we can approach God with boldness and God will give us mercy and grace. This is why Jesus is better than anything and why we cannot turn away from him. The first covenant that God provided through Moses has been replaced by a second, better covenant through Jesus. Salvation is found only in Jesus. Jesus is better than anyone and anything. He is the better prophet, the better priest, and the better king. Everyone who trusts in Jesus has salvation from sin through his perfect life, death, and resurrection. During our time together, we have been focusing on the question, what is the gospel? This is a very important question because if we don't know the answer to this, we won't understand God's perfect plan to save people from sin. What is the gospel? The gospel is the good news that God sent His Son, Jesus, into the world to rescue sinners. Amen. God's plan was not just to rescue certain kinds of sinners, but all sinners who have faith in Jesus. After Jesus' earthly ministry, His disciples and other followers continued to share the gospel. Jews and even Gentiles, like Cornelius and his family, came to know Jesus as their Savior. The good news of Jesus is for all people. The early church began to grow and spread, but believers faced a great deal of persecution and hardship. Many were discouraged. That is why people like Barnabas traveled to encourage new believers in their faith, like we studied last week. Christian leaders also wrote letters to encourage persecuted churches to press on and continue following the Lord. We'll look at one of these letters today. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Hebrews. What do you already know about this book, Hebrews? We know it is found in the New Testament general letters, not Paul's letters. Today, we'll learn what Hebrews tells us about Jesus. The Jesus is better. Hebrews was originally written for Jewish believers who would have been very familiar with the stories of God's work in the Old Testament. Throughout the history of Israel, God used different kinds of leaders for different roles. All these leaders helped to protect and guide people to live under the Old Covenant. Prophets like Elijah and Moses received the message from God and delivered them to his people. Prophets are like mess messengers. And kings like Daniel, David, and Solomon helped the people obey God by helping to enforce the rules God had given them and by ensuring the people had safe places to worship God. We already heard kings a lot. Priests like Aaron and Samuel acted as the go-between to make sacrifices on behalf of the people. The priests offered sacrifices for sins and communicate with God on behalf of the people. They spilled the blood of the animals needed to pay for sin. Priests are mediator. A mediator is a summon who goes between two people or groups of people to help them communicate. 
Jesus is the perfect prophet, priest, and king. He is better than any other leader, and he perfectly fulfilled all the roles, all the duties of all three main kinds of leaders. Do you remember the three leaders? Priest, prophet, priest, and king. Jesus, our great high priest, brought a better covenant. A covenant is a special kind of promise, agreement, often between God and humans. God made the first covenant with his people through Moses. When God gave the Ten Commandments, that's an old covenant. In the old covenant, people had to offer sacrifices again and again to cover their sins. But we have a new covenant, not old covenant. We have a new covenant because of Jesus. In the new covenant, Jesus' perfect sacrifice is enough for all sins forever. In the old covenant, people who had faith in God's promises still had a burden of the law weighing them down, reminding them that they could never earn God's love. It's a burden. But in the new covenant, Jesus' perfect righteousness frees us from the burden of the law. We can rest in God's love for us, knowing that we are saved by faith, not by works. Do you remember right before Jesus' death on the cross, he declared, it is finished, concurring sin once and for all. When he died, the curtain in the temple torn from top to the bottom. That curtain separated the Holy of Holies from the rest of the temple. Do you know what the Holy of Holies? The Holy of Holies is the place, the part of the temple where only the high priest could go. But Jesus' death allowed people, all people, full access to the Father. The curtain was no longer needed, and neither were the priests. Jesus is better than Moses. He is better than any prophet, king, or priest who led the Jews. God once spoke to his people through prophets. Now, he has spoken through his son, Jesus. He once led through kings, but now we are led by the king of kings. Who is the king of kings? Yes, Jesus. People once had to communicate to God through high priests. Now, because of Jesus, our great high priest, we have a full access to God through prayer. It's a blessing. Why did the writer, author of the book of Hebrews say that Jesus is better than anyone and anything? Didn't the readers already know this? They knew that at first, but when they faced great hardship, persecution, they turned away from their faith. They forgot who Jesus is. The early believers faced great hardship and persecution because of their faith. In their frustration, many believers considered whether following Jesus was worth it. Christian leaders wrote letters to encourage the leaders, the early believers, with the truth that Jesus is better than anyone and anything. He is the better prophet, the better priest, and the better king. Everyone 
who trust in Jesus has salvation from sin through his perfect life, death, and resurrection. As the church, we are the church, right? As the church, Jesus calls us to share the gospel with the world. Jesus is the superior solution to the problem of sin. He is all that is needed for salvation. Jesus is better than anything and anyone. He is faithful, unchanging, and always keeps his promises. He alone is our source of hope and peace in times of trouble. We have salvation through him and confidence of eternal life with him. We all need Jesus. Guys, don't forget, Jesus is better than anything and anyone. Let us not turn away from Jesus. Let's pray together. Father God, thank you for sending your son Jesus, the better prophet, priest, and king. Thank you for sending him as the perfect sacrifice for our sins. In him, we have a victory over sins and death. Our hope is found only in you. May we live our lives in a way that pleasing and honoring to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The world is searching.